Good evening. Uh, welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I'm talking about tab, mm, tab control and customized tab items. So uh, uh, in a tab control, we have a single uh, item that is tab item through which we can add uh, tab items in a tab control. So uh, by using header property, we can insert a content or you can say the text message in the tab item. The uh, we have a single tab item. Uh, it contain a single label uh, that is content item in the first tab that is the ma uh, contents in the first tab so uh, here we will design uh, three tabs item in a tab control that is tab item with the header that is second item also design a third tab item that is with the header uh, property that is the third item so here we have a three tab items uh, in a first tab items we have a contents label that is fine in the second tab we have not some items in the second tabs similarly uh, we will design tab controls okay now further uh, I want to customize the tab item with the uh, other controls so uh, add a stack panel control with the orientation property that is horizontal and the dog panel dot dog bottom so in a stack panel uh, we will uh, take a three button control that is previous next and uh, select uh, by using previous uh, next button uh, we will move our cursor position or you can say the current position to the next position or you can save the previous positions so by using previous button we will move to the previous tab okay uh, so uh, here we have a single click event now resize uh, this control uh, this button by using cursor now similarly uh, we can add three button control in a stack panel button second button and the third button in the second button please change the name because it's a unique uh, or you can say the instance of the button class also change the uh, event handling that uh, that is we have uh, a click event also change the name and the text so here we have three button select it select okay now add uh, tab control in a dock panel control so uh, design it mm, tab control just after closing the stack panel tab control mm, the name of the tab control is sample in a tab control uh, we will take three tab items okay tab item with the header message that is first tab uh, first item in a first item in a mm, first tab we will take a single uh, label in which we can take a contents or you can say in a first tab uh, we have some contents mm, like you can take a label text blocks and another stack panels and in this video further I will discuss about customize the tab item with the stack panel but here we will design 
next previous and selected button event handling so here we have only three tab items okay now uh, that's design is successfully now uh, open the code behind page in the first button uh, that is previous button uh, here uh, we will take a index number of the tab items so integer index okay uh, the tab controls name is sample that is sample dot selected uh, index that's mean of uh, selected tab you can say minus one so I want to uh, I want to move the previous item uh, by using the previous button so check uh, the n index value is less than zero okay so n index equals to sample dot items dot count minus one otherwise if conditions becomes false then sample dot selected index equals to n index then uh, we want to move the previous items okay if you want to move the next item and then uh, the n index value is uh, sample dot selected index plus one I want to move the uh, next item by using the next button sample dot selected index plus one now select check uh, the conditions that n index is greater than zero or equals to z uh, sample dot items dot count then n index equals to zero otherwise if we can uh, if conditions becomes false then move other value that is sample dot selected index equals to n index the last value is uh, sample dot selected index equals to n index in both conditions of previous button as well as next button if uh, if we uh, press the select button then uh, I want to show a message uh, by using the message box that is selected tab so uh, selected tab is sample dot selected item as tab item with the proper message okay mm, now selected item as a tab item dot header I want to show the header uh, uh, mass uh, header label uh, by using the message box okay when we press to the previous button then selected tab uh, sorry next button I want to select the select button the selected tab is selected tab okay third tab select selected tab is third tab okay and that is uh, move one by one uh, also loop is also considered here when uh, suppose uh, here we have a uh, first uh, item and again uh, and press the previous button that is move to the last items okay now we uh, we will also do by using the uh, tab item uh, or you can say the customized tab item okay uh, now add a stack panel in the tab item by using the header message so a tab item dot header tab item dot header remove the header attribute in a tab item just above code
okay so please watch and please keep watching my all video tutorials which is related to WPF and learn many more things about WPF so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all video tutorials thank you thank you very much